Westinghouse Ferrotrack 56DP and 56P are examples of motion balance electronic differential pressure and pressure transmitters. They convert process input variables to a 4 to 20 milliamp DC output for the respective input range. The 56 dp can be used to measure variables whose value can be measured in terms of differential pressure. This includes the measurement of pressure, flow, and level. The transmitter consists essentially of a variable reluctance measuring head, and an amplifier. The measuring head is made of stainless steel. The amplifier is mounted within a die-cast aluminum housing. Available differential pressure ranges can be located in the specification section of the manufacturer's instruction manual. In the following views of the Veritrack 56 DP transmitter, we can identify the amplifier housing, the end cover, the end cover removed from the housing, the breather drain, and the mounting bracket. The following parts make up the measuring head. The high pressure process connection, the low pressure process connection, the body assembly, the high pressure flange, and the low pressure flange. A 1 8 inch vent screw. And 1 4 inch drain plug are provided in each flange. This is a schematic of the Veritrack Differential Pressure Transmitter. The high pressure seal diaphragm, 18, the low pressure seal diaphragm, 4, and the measuring diaphragm, 17, are identified here. The area between the measuring diaphragm and the high pressure seal diaphragm is fluid filled through the high pressure fill tube, 19. Inserting the fluid is a factory job. The area between the measuring diaphragm and the low pressure seal diaphragm is fluid filled through the low pressure fill tube, 3. The section between the high pressure seal diaphragm, 18, and the low pressure seal diaphragm, 4, is the body assembly or measuring unit.
This is the body assembly for the 56 DP transmitter. Ambient temperature limits are minus 40 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Overheating by steam tracing or other means will permanently damage the unit. The pencil points to the measuring diaphragm. The high pressure seal diaphragm is here. The low pressure seal diaphragm is located on the opposite side. The four wires connect internally to the measuring cell. Some range changes for the Veritrack 56 DP transmitter require that the measuring head be exchanged for one suitable for the new range. Now work exercise number four in your workbook. The principle of operation of the 56 DP transmitter is as follows. The high pressure measurement enters the high pressure manifold connection and is applied to the high pressure seal diaphragm, 18. The low pressure measurement enters the low pressure manifold connection and is applied to the low pressure seal diaphragm, 4. These pressures are conducted through the high pressure fill and the low pressure fill to the measuring diaphragm 17. The measuring diaphragm 17 is positioned according to the algebraic difference between the two fill pressures. Assume 201 psi is applied to the high pressure manifold and 200 psi is applied to the low pressure manifold. The differential pressure across the measurement diaphragm 17 would be 201 minus 200 or 1 pound. The movement of the measuring diaphragm is against the measuring cell spring 16 Increasing differential pressure compresses the spring. Overrange protection is provided equal to the 1500 pound body rating of the transmitter. Such overrange is not recommended. The measuring diaphragm, 17, moves only 25 ten thousandths of an inch for full range differential. This small movement provides for linear output. The measuring diaphragm movement caused by differential pressure input is converted to a 4 to 20 milliamp DC output signal. The diaphragm movement is detected by the measuring cell contained in the measuring head assembly. This is a schematic of the measuring cell. A change in pressure causes the diaphragm to move against the spring. This moves the ferrite armature. Which decreases the air gap between the armature and one transformer. 
and increases the air gap in the other. Inductance is increased in the transformer with the lesser air gap and decreased in the one with the larger air gap. The transformer with the increased inductance has an increased AC voltage, while the one with the reduced inductance has a lesser AC voltage. This imbalance in the AC voltage is detected by the amplifier. This is a simplified schematic of the transmitter circuit. An inductance change is detected by the primary windings of the sensors on the left. A change in AC voltage is created in the sensor secondary windings, which in turn make up two legs of a four element measurement bridge. The other two legs of the measurement bridge are the varactor diodes CR2 and CR3. These are voltage sensitive capacitors which change their capacity with changes in DC bias. The milliampere meter in the lower right hand corner designates the output. Part of the output is fed back to the varactor diodes to rebalance the bridge. The capacitive reactance of the two diode legs of the bridge matches the inductive reactance of the two transformer legs. The zero and span potentiometers are in the right lower center section. These adjustments are interacting. If one is altered, the other must be rechecked. Twenty-four volts DC is used for this transmitter as shown in the upper right hand corner. The circuit is a two wire system. For more detailed study of the circuit, consult this drawing in the Veritrack 56 DP instruction manual. Now work exercise number five in your workbook.